Installing drawers so that there's a perfect reveal around all the edges of the drawer face can be a little tricky. Let's go through a couple simple steps to make that process more successful. We're going to need a couple of things to make that happen. Of course, we're going to need the project that the drawers are going to go in. We'll need the drawer faces along with their poles and we'll need drawer glides and of course our drawers size to account for the drawer glides and our case that we've previously made. Let's talk about our drawer hardware. I like to use 100 pound full extension drawer glides. These are economical. I can get them at my local home center so I don't have to mail for them. And they're very durable and they hold a lot of weight. They pull apart with a little thumb latch. This part goes to our drawer and this part mounts in our case. Now let's go through the steps involved in installing drawers to get that perfect reveal. We'll begin installing the hardware by drawing a center line on the center of the side of one drawer box. Set the drawer box component in position and using a combination square as an aid set the part 1 8 inch from the front of the box. Now attach the hardware. Drive the screw in the slotted hole until you're just about tight. Then you can do any final adjustment for up and down and then secure the hardware. Finish by installing the rest of the screws making sure to center the hardware with our center line mark. To help with the rest of the installations, I'm going to use a jig made of a piece of scrap by marking how far it is from the bottom of the drawer glide to the bottom of the box. I'll rip that to width and then set it on the opposite side of the drawer. This will ensure that all the drawer hardware is in the same position. Again, I'll use the 1 8 inch offset from the front and I can now drive the screws to attach the components. With one drawer complete, hardware installed on both sides, use your jig and attach the rest of the glides to the rest of your drawers. With all the hardware installed on our drawer boxes, let's focus on our cabinet. If at all possible, I like to lay the case on its side. It makes it much easier to lay out and position all the components. To begin installing the components in the box, set the gauge at 7 8 of an inch offset. This accounts for the 1 8 inch setback on the drawer sides we did before and the 3 quarter inch thickness of the drawer face. Now mark the center line of each drawer box, which is the center line of the hardware. Now we mark the positions of the drawer hardware center lines and draw a line back into the case that we can use to align the hardware. Now set the glide into position, aligning it with the 7 8 inch offset line. Pull the hardware out and now you can see using the slotted holes, align it with their center line mark and drive the screw. As before, we'll drive it most of the way in, do a final adjustment, and secure the hardware tight. Now use your combination square and square up the hardware to the front of the case and install the screws. Being sure to use the elongated holes so that we can adjust the front to back later. Now repeat this process for the remaining drawer glides on one side of the case. Now move to the other side of the case and repeat the same layout process.
with all the components installed inside our cabinet, we'll stand it up and install the drawer. To install the drawer, insert the tabs and the grooves in the hardware. Slide it in and pop it to engage. With our drawer cases installed in the cabinet, just take a quick look to make sure all the drawers appear to be running parallel and square to the case. If they need a little adjustment, I can adjust because I use the vertically slotted openings on our drawer boxes and can raise or lower the box so it looks right inside the case. Now let's attach the fronts. Door and drawer poles usually come with screws that only account for three quarter inch thick material. Because we are installing these on a half inch thick drawer box, we have an inch and a quarter material to go through. I only want to install them to the drawer face by itself. So I'll drill a counter bore in the back side of the drawer face that will account for that hardware. Start by installing some shims to position the drawer face. In this case, they're 1 8 inch, which is the same dimension we want for our reveal. Set the drawer face into position, and using some screws, temporarily attach the face through the hardware mounting holes that we drilled earlier. Now remove the drawer, and the shims, and countersink and attach the drawer case to the drawer face with screws. Here we'll use one inch screws. Now fit the drawer back in the case, remove our temporary screws, and remove the drawer face. Now we can attach our hardware. Lightly thread the screws into the hardware and then cinch them down tight with a hand screwdriver. Now set the drawer face back into position. Insert the screws and cinch the drawer front tight. With that, you should have a perfect 1 8 inch reveal all the way around. Now repeat for the second drawer. Using the same shims and the drawer mounted earlier as your guide. The process continues all the way up the case. Our final, final adjustment is if the drawer face is flush to the case. I can just use a shim to check. Here I'm flush, that's good. Here there's actually about a sixteenth of an inch gap. To fix that, I'll remove the drawer, and make an adjustment using the screw that's in the slotted hole, and I can move this hardware in or out. With all the hardware installed and adjustments completed, it's time to apply a finish. You'll need to remove the parts and label them so everything goes back in the same place it came from. When you install it after the finish, Make sure you install some screws in those non-slotted holes so that it fixes everything in its final position.